they dig up this time.
whole time. Oh, that really matters. I'm in the subway this whole time too. Half an hour with the microphone fucking off. Jesus Gives me a lady sif. Is this Hellrider into Infernal? Feels first. I have some options here. Um, I can guarantee I win the left by going best Valkyrie. It means I have to rely on my opponent playing nothing mid. Which seems unlikely. I think this. I think this is the best. I don't think I'm in this. Yeah, that's a problem. Well, turns out Valkyrie was the correct play. So I think unless if I know he's specifically playing Magneto, I still make the same play. Hello again. Oh my god, that's why he's fucking pinging me. Because I've clicked end turn and it's not end turn. I shuffled in my deck.
Okay. That's fine. I have a hunch I'm losing this. But for turn five for my opponent to go Electro Viper. Seems crazy. Okay, that's cool, I guess. This actually seems unwinnable. If this was Iron Man, maybe I stay in. Escape. I can't win Mojo World. I can't play enough cards. Like, I don't have Mysterio or anything. Like that. Wow. How unfortunate. Just play a lot of bishops and a lot of ant mans. Weird graphical issue underneath the bishop's title. I can't really see it, but it makes Iron Man's head look funky. I kind of expected this. I am Iron Man. play Silver Surf on 5 and 6. It is not insurmountable. Hmm. Like he's eight enough to win left. It's the best I can do. Um, uh, eight 
with blue marble is more likely to win middle. I don't know, homie. Doesn't seem good for me. So it doesn't seem good for me. I think that's actually fine. Better even? It's kind of a man. I wish you had picked up the other Ant Man, but. Yeah. I'm kind of shocked I win that. I'm probably also kind of shocked by when that. That went that way. Everything. Great. Escape. One of the main problems with this deck is that there is a squeeze point at five. And you're trying to play as many things around that. I have three things that cost five, and I really should cut one of them. I really should cut one of them and put Sunspot back in the deck. I haven't been using Valkyrie as much as I thought I would be. Here you go. Ups me. Well, that's not going to draw any cards, is it? Changing the deck, I need to. I just keep getting hands that are unplayable because I have too many fives in them. Um, hood could work. Maybe can't blue marble for hood. Try it out. Um, wait, don't I have a. Uh, yes, I did. Um, still 40 minutes. Alright, oh, yeah, I need to update the picture. Such a tinkerer. Such a tinkerer. Added the picture. 
why did nothing show up? Thank you. That was fucking strange. Okay, um... Let's go like this. This is a Koye. I have not seen this version before. That's kind of cool. Mysteria would be sick. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, I'll just go for four hulks. Why not? Is my Hulk mistake so big that I can't win the game? This is fine. I snapped. Oh, the doom's not enough. He doesn't even win on the left, he ties on the left. That's kind of funny. Victory. Oh well. That was an unexpected eight cubes. Get some happy visitors. That ain't so bad. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Never mind. Escaped. Could you be less shit, please?
Mm, that scenery range is interesting. Look at the like this. It's seven. Probably good enough. And I can Valkyrie later if I have to? I don't think so. Um. while I'm doing the um, smaller camera angle. Valkyrie, it's value for me. If it hits Mystique, it'll copy Iron Man. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, I guess Mojo. It's unlikely he's gonna fill it out. So maybe this then. I don't think I can lose this. Barring Killmonger, I think Killmonger makes me lose the game. I am Iron Man. What's about that's the exact thing that's going? What? Oh. I didn't expect that. Why did you play that? That wouldn't win in the game. Strange, but okay. Sure did. Then this is something. Play Angel the first there. Hunting sewer system because he's got warp on. So it's like either this wins on its own or I just don't care. That is a problem. I am Iron Man. Uh, I'm actually kind of harmed. Damn, what a play. 
Yeah, dude, just play literally anything on the right. <laughs> yeah, okay. That, that sucks. That doobie sucks. You should have snapped before playing Professor X. Keep that in my hand for now. Is this guy playing three breast seven or something? Mysterio wins again? What the hell is my opponent playing? I don't get some Mystique right. I am Iron Man. So I don't get to play Mystique? Well, I can. I feel like this. That's probably good enough to win. Yes. Who this shit knows? I don't seem to think so. territory. Next turn, I'm gonna Valkyrie on the sewer system. Um. 
doom kind of bad. I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna get one doom bot. I'm supposed to lose my priority. Um, what did I play last? Mysterio. So Mystique doesn't do anything this game. Can Doctor Doom, but I do not want to. Um. All my players are bad players. Is that me winning mid? No. Kind of hoping that would make. Where the fuck were you last time? Because if I had Iron Man last time, I'd play Iron Man. Motherfucking. Anyway. I reveal first, which sucks big time. But I go to 8, and my opponent goes to 4. He plays nothing left. If he just goes. Um. Arnim Zola. I still win. I have enough power on the right. So that would be a strange choice to make. There's death on the left. Kill him on the right. Well, that fucks me up, doesn't it? I didn't expect that. That's a bit shit. Because if I reveal second, I win that. Like. I think I do have this. I don't. Switch to this. A lot of rafts today. today. Um, I can't even play into it. My opponent just gets free raft. So we're not going to stick around and find out how bad that is for us. That's also the same problem. What the fuck? I just feel so punished playing this game. I feel like it needs to roll less dice, swear to god. Because there's just 
like really no mitigating RNG and there's so much of it. I feel like there's more than ever. And there's just so many matches where you just are unable to play cards. Which is also insane to me. Okay, I need my opponent to keep priority for next turn. get to play Spectrum. So if he gives me a Spectrum, that would also be cool, but... Uh, I basically blow up my spot as well, which is pretty sick. So I'm hoping he plays a bunch of cool shit. It's like super risky. change very quickly but whatever spectrum one time yeah bitch sick nuts um spectrum wins middle maybe like this i think i'm literally coin flipping which lane i put spectrum into Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. It doesn't win mid if I don't play it mid. Fuck me. Yeah. God damn. I knew I should have scooped on the fucking Gamma Lang. Gamma Lab play. Gamma Lab sucks. Big Gamma Lab hater here. I click the button. Please. Please end the turn. What the fuck? It's just the raft forever. Forever the raft. I'm sick of the raft. I'm sick of it, I tell you. That does nothing, but that's fine. Actually, win this. <laughs> Please, form changes. This changes. Nothing. 
We now have a problem where if Grand Central hits a goose, I'm going to get really mad. And Cosmos, pretty shit house. I think this is one of the most annoying locations. It's literally the same guy. Scoop here if he thinks I'm gonna do just the exact same thing again. Oh. Yep. Victory. I kind of expected it to be honest.
What the fuck? Uh... Can we actually just soap on three? Snapping, so is fifteen enough to win life? Mind boggling. What the fuck? Why? That makes no sense. Absolutely mind boggling. What? what are you doing? Seriously. There's just so many prohibitive locations. Like, look at this. How the fuck am I supposed to play a game with this? I hope it turns out looks bar. Well, do I play Cosmo? I don't think so. Let's go!
this works. It's kind of having a place in the Jotunheim. It might actually be okay if I play Spectrum on 6. Never mind. Goodbye. This is a shit hand. You don't have to go after that. Dark Hawk. It's slow coming. No. Stop flicking up after I click a button every time. Fuck me. You used to go to the top, now it just flicks up one step. It's like, fuck off. Just let me click the button multiple times. Thank you. 
scrolling my collection of picks and they're just upgrading the cards of the main deck. It is so far working out. I just uh, removed it. Fuck me. Shiny yeah. logo. I think I just swap Valkyrie and go back to playing Blue Marvel, which is kind of disappointing. Animated fray. Which means I'm 1200, 1200 away. Um, need some green stuff. Who's just generically good at solving um, solving some of the problems and beating most things. This might be annoying if it blows up Shuri's lab. Don't get to go Marvel and copy Marvel, which is very annoying. win kill.
Never mind. Fuck me. Fucking hell. Ah, of course. Of course. Very cool and fun. So not doing a whole lot. Fuck off! I Are you kidding? Right. Every time! Ah! Uh. Uh. Can I not have my opponent have the exact one card that beats the thing that I'm doing, regardless of what deck that I'm playing every single fucking game? It's getting old. It's getting really fucking old. Why even play, play it anymore? Why even play Iron Man? Either the Zabu decks playing Enchantress or the Silver Surfer decks playing Rogue. And there's just no point. Basically unplayable here. And play Mojo. I think Mojo is kind of the best value I can get. Iron Man and Mystique need to be in the left. I genuinely don't have any other playables. Like, this is just such a shit fucking. Limbo just gives my opponent an extra turn, not me. Especially when there's so few board slots already. Like, if the squirrels came out before I played Mysterio, I would not have played Mysterio. I just wouldn't have done it. This looks pretty good.
that's pretty good. Um, I think it's Bishop Pass. Sword Mastrol. Oh, I get to draw a suit. Um, this is a problem. Um, actually, it might not be if I can fill it up next turn. But I'm playing Iron Man. Let's go Iron Man Wasp next turn. Maybe. Might just fill this up next turn. Play Iron Man here. left in deck. So I've drawn my entire deck. We are going to play Iron Man. This is going to move out. This becomes my punt lane. So then I go I am Mystique, Iron Mojo, Ant-Man, Hood. Very cool. Very cool. Anyway. Not quite good enough. So this is an Iron Man. A hood wasp. If for some reason my opponent is able to fill up the middle lane. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bot snap. Love him, he fan. Basically, pick a lane, I guess. Win one lane. Because even if he plays left and it ties, um, it's not going to. It's not going to win on the tiebreaker. This is very annoying. I like this. New York. Might as well throw it out. Hmm. I need to win, win mid somehow. Two. We are playing against Cerebro 2. Most spectacular. Mm. I 
assuming this is sufficient. Actually, yes, let's move this over. Let's move this here. I think Mocho is better value. Alright, don't get to activate Ant Man. Could I just make up my mind like one time? Oh, well. Hopefully that's good enough. I guess knowing that they had nothing played to come on, I should have just like left it and figured these three were probably enough. Or not moved Adam Warlock to activate Ant Man. I guess that was kind of stupid of me. Nexus. All right. Oh my god. Let's. Ugh. I just assume that Adam Warlock's never going to activate, and therefore it's not worth doing it. An embassy, that's kind of sweet. Let's play Bishop. Wind paid my hand. That's pretty good for you, I think. Um, let's go like this. Oh, I get to win that for free with Iron Man. We just go like this. Turn up Lizard. He plays a bishop. I play a bishop. My bishop is slightly better. Cool, we snap on that. A second Iron Man. That is slightly irritating. Oh, is Blue Marvel just better here? Blue Marvel and Demon on the right? Because, mm. like, if I do this. That's tough to beat. Tough to beat. Let's kill Mongo, that's fine. So the surface is more problem. Huge 
huge problem. Play Bishop in a different lane and then Wasp here to get the plus one. Might have to be this lane. Get fucked. Well, oh, okay, well, in that case, that's a little irritating. Played two cards to every lane. But I also do not have any other playables. The fact that you can see in my hand I just have so many unplayables shows you why Adam Warlock is so important early on. Is that bad? Is that really bad for me? I can't tell. I think I just assume my opponent comes middle. Or they Shang-Chi and I lose anyway. Fine. Like this, I think. What's the chance of me filling this location low? Maybe Ant Man is better. He needs to play something um, that does not cost. I'm going to 13. I just lose. This place two shields. Oh no, we're okay. We are okay. God, the sun just turned on. Look how bright that is. Okay, we thanks to building. Uh, I'm just gonna move to the right, so I think. I think it's fine. Oh my fucking god. I clicked and turned. Mm, the 
stakes. I think I want a demon in the throne room. What's the chance my opponent can get something bigger than suits? Out the night crawl. It's pretty unlikely Mojo will act though. I think Iron Man is the play here. Coffee with Mystique. Okay, we're gonna play with the left. My opponent is gonna also have an Iron Man. Very cool of you. I keep getting these. Play four cost cards, play six cost cards. Which is really frustrating. Because I don't fucking play any decks with four cost cards. and place them in the cost four. Fuck off. I do that so often. Why are these buttons so small? Um I want a four drop. playing this deck because it can play more than one six drop a game. I'll complete my quests. Psylocke. I don't think so. I think the plan is to go Electro into Magic into Destroyer. Clean the board.
back to it. Um, is it, I wanted to play magic into the machine world, and I can't really do anything with it. But that did not work out. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, if I play Dracula, there's a pretty low chance I actually get big stats out of it. Um, I can play Aero. Oh, actually, I play Armor for points? them both? Fuck yeah. Okay, I get to play two things. Kind of want to play Doc Ock middle, but I kind of don't. <laughs> I think I want to try and Dracula the Doctor Octopus. My odds are kind of one in three bot, which is not great. Like this. Opponent, Opponent snaps. Huge meme. Absolutely huge meme. <laughs> Yeah, and Dracula low rolls anyway. What a meme. Ah, oh, how silly. How silly. And I played Dracula. Now I just have to play four cost cards. Like a lot of them. Makes me think I should be playing Zabu. Why are you trying to tell me I should be playing Zabu? Um, I need to get rid of this for now. We're gonna come back to it eventually, but um, you know how it is. Things that cost four. play Basque is my favorite card. There you are. Ooh, I can upgrade Basque. Done. <laughs> Been waiting for a while actually. Spend money right now. 
Um, I want mistake. Yep. Silver Surfer, is that worthwhile? Could be. Could be. If I also play Brood, I think. This looks like a pile. Crystal's the only thing that doesn't like Bast. But I think it's worth it for the util. Um, I would pretty happily replace Crystal with like Dark Hawk or Shuri. Uh, 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 there you go. Uh, ho hum. Could play Spider Man instead. Could play Spider Man instead. Spider-Man instead. We're gonna play deck 18. Until we play enough forecast to complete the quests. I even play this? I don't even think I want to play it. first so the brood is not gonna cut it um, interesting Jubilee is not gonna cut it either I think I just give up on the raft I just play to a uh, minute later. We have a Bast. So we're gonna go Bast Wong. Oh, no, 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 no. Absorbing Man. Bast Wong. And the next turn is Mystique Silver Surfer. I snap you because we're going to go Mystique into Silver Surfer, and all of my lanes get lots of power. the thing that they got off the raft was bad. Okay, I gotta play seven more four cost cards. Is 
zombie dog T1 right now. Do nothing, Sabu. <laughs> Seems like a just fine strategy. Fucking hell. Oh, I got a free Iron Man. And my opponent gets a free Hulk. Iron Man. That's sure as shit as something. Dracula. So I assume Hulk is for the Dracula. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um. Hmm. I should have put Adam Warlock in now. As well as Silo. We have a Jubilee. This is the final turn, so I get to choose between Jubilee or Absorbing Man. That's kind of poopy. Um. I'm going to risk it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna risk it. Is this bait? Am I being baited by Iron Man? Is Jubilee mid just better? Is Absorbent Man copying Silver Surfer mid just better? What? Let's send it. I have genuinely no idea which one of these things is the correct choice. I think the Iron Man is bait. I like unless if I Jubilee into um, Brood. I don't think it's value. No Ghost Rider target is interesting. We actually get there though, because Absorbing Man is enough. Oh, it's a tie on the left, and I lose the tiebreaker! What? Oh my god, after all that. After all that, fucking hell. Ugh. Feels so ripped off. Kind of a perfect best scenario. Let's go. 
is brood correct here? Hmm. I think so. Okay. What did you get? Shang-Chi. Oh, am I playing against the Dark Hawk version? Because that might be bad for me. Uh, we are going to do this. And then pass. We are then going to Jubilee on the left and then Silver Surfer and then Absorbing Man copying Silver Surfer. Which I'm pretty confident should be a mom. I think I snapped to that. Spider-Man. That's acceptable. Let's check in to on the right. I wonder how in trouble I am. Who I hit my Spider-Man. I might actually win this. I think me snapping was correct. Because not only is this humongous, but Absorbing Man gets to copy it again and like put six into the middle. So my opponent has to play 14 in the middle. Wow. This deck's actually good. I hate it. Play out bird. Let's just try a Jubilee. Surely it hits good. Yeah, my opponent has the Zabu. Okay, we found Wong. I get to play Iron Man and copy Iron Man. And then Silver Surfer. And just ignore middle, I think. I am Iron Man. Try again to Oh, I have to beat that somehow. I think it's possible. I think it is possible. So I copy Iron Man, I play Silver Surfer. So uh, this becomes three, six, eight, nine, eighteen. So if he plays nothing else into here, I win here. Uh, and then this becomes huge. So I think, fuck it, let's, let's just send it. <laughs> just absolutely send it. Yeehaw! Why not? Just 
just slams Helicarrier mid. He's got to have something pretty thick for the Dracula. Shang-Chi. That is not pretty thick. I'll be honest. Victory. That is pretty thin, actually. Actually, let's put up the screenshot. This deck kind of slaps, actually. Space for Adam Warlock in here though. I've also not seen Mr. Negative in any game so far. Yo, new subscriber, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. I totally missed it. I didn't see the notification pop on. Um, for now. Wakanda Embassy is pretty hype. Wakanda Embassy on 2 after Bast on 1 is pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big fan. Just turns all your zeros into 5s, which is kind of crazy. So, you win this round. Playing the Zabus. I'm going to play Wongers, and if I don't draw Silver Surfer, I'm going to play Iron Man? I was like, is that the correct move here? I don't know. You, sir, can get fucked. This is actually really bad now. Rogue incoming? Surely. Surely rogue incoming. Silver Surfer off the top, please. Okay. I just punt mid. But I can win mid so hard. Um. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I got it. I'm all in. I'm feeling brave. Ish. Quicksilver. 
How scared of the raft being full am I? God. The snap was telling him that I can fill the raft, I think. And so now he's gonna play to try and fill the raft. He might not be able to. Instead of playing one huge thing. Nope, gonna play the big things. That's a five drop. Absorbing man. Okay. You have lots of mana. Congratulations. Alright, this guy has been fucking doing yard work all day and I wish he would go away. Mr. Meg. We're just gonna play nothing this time. Okay. I don't know what that accomplished. That's pretty good. Um, but I kind of want to Iron Man. Do I need to Iron Man to win? I think is the correct question. Maybe not? If I go Iron Man, I can then go Mystique Wong. Mystique Silver Surfer. Ultron? That's not great either. I think this is better. Hit absorbing man, so I get to go like this uh, and mega win the game. The Ultron does nothing besides being a zero energy eight cost. That's kind of crazy. This deck's nutty, actually. Ugh. Um, if I get the last, what's the last mission? We're in like Ocean of Four Cards. If I get the last mission, I get a bit of a credits boost. Oh, if I press the fucking button. Maybe I 
got Spider-Man for Adam Warlock. Oh. For real. Um I think that's fine. I think I just punt Gamma Lab. Because if I play Gamma Lab. Are you serious? Play Group 2. Ah! Fuck. It's even the same rarity. Fucking hell. Mmm, Zabu, huh? Can actually play Zabu here. Good for me. Vast is poorly timed. That's fine. I don't actually need it for the final time. It's nothing. I don't know why you played to the right. That seems wonky. Best for no reason. This isn't a bad hit. He didn't miss the negative, but it is pretty good. Oh, that hurts. It does hurt. Um, tube. It's actually tough, I guess. So I just like yolo everything on Jubilee. Maybe not. Play Wong instead. So I want to Iron Man as soon as I London before I pull anything out of my deck. It's pretty strong. Where are you going? I am like... Iron Man. Okay. Give me a brood. Well... 
That doesn't really do what I want it to do. I could just like YOLO Jubilee. I don't care if I lose cubes on this, but it might be like super swag if I do get something out of it. Well, of course he's got Enchantress for my Iron Man. And Sinister London gets him another Enchantress for my other Iron Man. So that's really cool and fun. Really cool and fun. Snap! I lost so hard the game crashed. sucks and also fuck you. <laughs> like, uh, as if I wasn't already trying to ice skate uphill, my opponent's like, no, it doesn't matter. I have the card that beats you no matter what you do. Fucking Enchantress. Fucking Enchantress. my hand size in here. I should have done. I should have done over in Death's Domain. I'm oh. oh, still winning Death's Domain. Watch this fucking. I, am I don't know what he's playing. Destroy with Yondu? A wall? What? What is this random infinite? What is this random infinite? Um. 
6, 12, 24. It's not enough. Uh, <laughs> Why do you like this game? What the fuck is my opponent playing? Wasp, Yondu, Thor, Infinaut. Throwing down Jubilee here is fine. I think Wong is kind of a problem. Vast is pretty good. It's pretty good. I think I'll just lose this lane, but I play Zabu, which is kind of worth. Zabu in there for the Silver Surfer play, which isn't terrible. Okay, I get to do... It's Wong, right? It has to be Wong. If I Silver Surfer, this only goes to 8. I think I've misplayed. A tie. Nope, I messed up. Can eat that. Oh, my opponent is a bundle buyer. Ah, oh, this hand blows. Is this a retreat? 
it's possible. I think I have no tempo. Mm, not really. Bad. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Sticking and then silver surfer ring instead of the opposite instead of mystique. Marvel. I am Iron Man. That's cute. I am Iron Man. I like this. Opponent My opponent snapped. Fine, I get it. I do, but have I you am considered Iron Man. perishing? I am Iron Man. That would be my preference. <laughs> okay, we get to go Psylocke into Mr. Negative, which is a whole extra draw, which has been negatived. Um, overplaying Zabu on three. <sighs> yeah. Still fine, still the correct play. 
unfortunately. I think I have to play Zombie. No, I can just play Iron Man, right? That's insane. Snaps. You just play Jubilee? What? How do you go? Oh, snap. I'm definitely gonna win this. Cha Chink Casino Time. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Okay, we hit Brood. Um, we have Wong also. I can go. Like this, Wong Silver Surfer on the final turn. But that means I'm losing Mojo World, pretty much guaranteed. That might be okay though. All right, there's Magneto. I'm just gonna pick up Mr. Negative. I don't like that very much. Omega Red also. Still be winnable. Maybe. Um, this adds six. This ties. And then he has to discard something that's worth ten or greater to activate Amigo Red here. This might be winnable. There's only nine though. He has to not play two cards to the left for me to win this lane. Which is not great. I think I just retreat. It's like a weird dynamic there where he has to play two cards for me to win left, and if he plays two cards for me to win left, he's guaranteeing that he has a thing big enough um, on the Dracula to win that lane. And I think it's pretty possible to be done. Well, he's in it. Okay. Oh, I can actually go like this. Yeah, in before is playing Enchantress. Discard Spider Man. Unfortunate, but not a big deal. Kind of degenerate. <laughs> Why do I bother? Why do I bother trying to have fun? Fuck me. Why do I fucking bother? Ah, let's trade off that. We were going to have fun. I chose the choice that doesn't necessarily just win me the game. Instead, you decided to be very unfun.
Oh, it's Mass Loop. I've played against this guy several thousand times. So it's still actually pretty winnable. Spectrum. You just lose. Get the level up. Nine eighteen. All right, let's spend some credits. I have a best level. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh, thought I had enough for my go. Blue marble instead. Introduce my friend. It's uh, good to go. Hey, what's up? Hey. Welcome to the stream. Hi. Hey everyone, this is Willow Snapping. Uh, I've got to do a little bit of setup stuff to get us into the game and get us ready. Um, first of all, you're on Board Game Arena. Did you set up an account and stuff? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Let me see if I can remember my. Login stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to find it. I might have to just search. How embarrassing. Yeah, there it is. Um, expected waiting time zero seconds. It seems unlikely. Yeah, I've got my account set up. Mm hmm. What's the. Oh, send it to me in Discord so I can copy paste it. Uh, that's the username. Oh, what did I do? 
Here we go. Okay, I've sent you an invite to the table. Before you get started, I have to change my stream title and stuff like that. Games is one word, I swear to God. Uh, 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 um, Updates. Okay. I think I just need you to. Wow, I've changed this whole UI since I've used this last. Um, that is good. That is good. We get to actually see what's going on here. I'm not even on screen. I need to fix my camera. Hello, look, that is me. Somewhat. Have I done? Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Uh, yeah, me too. I hit the join button. I think I so. I have my email address and everything. So. Uh... so I did that. It now has a uh, cancel button and says searching for players. You should, if you check your notifications, you should have a invite from me. Uh, yeah, I saw that, and then I press, uh, and then I press join on that, and then it oh, just said. Oh, yeah, here we go. Start now. Oh, okay. I think all I did was cancel and rejoin. It's okay. Interesting. It's okay. So, this is Castles of Clarice Season 1. We have to swap to Tabletopia if we're going to play Season 2. Gotcha. Um, so we'll start off with this. We'll play a few of this one. Um, that's actually really annoying. I'm going to move my camera over to the other side. Like this. Fix me a little bit. Here we go. So now you can actually see what's going on. Um, so, it's my turn, there is a little bit of a timer on me, but in the 2 minutes 45, I can very easily explain how this game works. So, Castles of Clearer, you start off with a small hand, two cards, and then you will draw one card every single turn. When you play a card, if you play it face up, it will have its effect straight away. If you play it face down, it will wait until it is turned face up by another card to have an effect. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to have the most points which is this number on the bottom, in play in your castle at the end of the game. Um, the only other thing is that face down cards are worth one point and then some of the specific cards will be more important later on. But we will find out those through our first play. Okay. Oh. So once a card is split face up, it will resolve its effect, regardless of who's, uh, but the effect will resolve from the perspective of the player who played the card, not the person who flipped it face up, right? That's correct, yeah. Your cards do your things, you're in control. Gotcha. I'm a little lost on the interface here. So you click the card in your hand, and then you click face up oh, or I face see. down yeah, yeah, yeah. at I the top. That, uh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, huge. Huge turn one play. So the first card will be the card that you draw, right? Because we draw from the same pile. Mm-hmm. It goes me, you, me. Ooh, interesting. Um, let's play this face down also. Ooh. 
Okay. You can have this. Whenever I play this IRL, you always, the, the card that you pass the other person is the card that you get back, which is always very funny. Oh, I see, because you... Are you saying that in IRL, the order of sequences that you give the opponent a card, then they give you a card, so they just give you back No, 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 it happens at the same time. But because there's two of most cards, and most of the cards that there's duplication oh. of are ones that you don't super want. <laughs> like, so you're always like, yeah, you have this thing. Like, the most common one is Watchtower for a Watchtower, because there's three Watchtowers. Gotcha. If a card gets flipped face down and then flipped face back up, does it re-resolve its effect? Yep. Oh, interesting. Yep. Very cool. So barracks can give you an extra trebuchet or an extra wizard tower or whatnot. That sounds like a great idea. It's pretty strong. Uh, I am, however, going to say no to that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not letting you stack the entire deck. It could be really fun, though. It could be. But I, I will not allow it. Ooh, okay. Here's my watch talent that does nothing. That's totally okay. Uh, we're gonna play this and blow up your wizard tower. Your wizards oh. are now homeless, sorry to say. How unfortunate. I like that card. Um, very cool card. It lets you check if you're about to get blown up by a trebuchet, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, oh, I was thinking of battlements because it's the first time. Oh, the battlements. Yeah, right. I thought you meant the observatory you played. Yeah, battlements is pretty cool. For me, a lot of the niche. Um, stuff in the game that I go, oh, that's kind of interesting, is like, fun fact, the Battlements was real originally just a one-point thing that couldn't be destroyed, and the plan was that you would just kind of goof on your opponent, like, bait the trebuchet out. But instead, now it's like, um, a set collection thing as well. So, like, most of the time it's unchanged, but if you're really lucky to get all three, it's really good. made an unfortunate mistake. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe I'm okay? We'll see. Ooh, interesting. Wait, we actually get there? Oh no, hang on. We don't get there just yet. I get to do this first. And blow this up. Uh, is there somewhere I can see your hand count? Oh yeah, your hand count. One card, yeah. So your current board is four. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Interesting. I have a I have a theory about a specific card <laughs> being busted. Oh okay. Interesting. But, 
first game, so obviously everything, all my opinions suck. <laughs> oh, I got rolled on. What is this six point card? <laughs> Can I play face off? Oh, I see. Wait, this, the design of that card is really cool. Though. Yeah, unfortunately, you, you got me. I haven't got anything. My last two cards I played, they were both uh, battlements. Battlements, yeah. 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 That's kind of funny. Alright, rematch, rematch. So, yeah, the Princess Spire, I drew on the second last turn of the game. And we had already seen all four of the trebuchets, so it can't be destroyed. So all I have to do is turn it face up, and I get mega points, basically. Oh, I see, I see. Is there an area I can accept the rematch, or do I just hit propose rematch? Oh, um, I'm not sure. Maybe check notifications? Otherwise, also propose rematch, and then if I see something pop up, I'll... Hit that. Well, yeah, I just hit propose and it took me back to the original menu. And I think I just gotta click on your game and click join again. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is taking some getting used to. Except. Okay. You are first this time. So tell me, what, what card do you think is super busted? Oh, I was just. Uh, sorry, when I say super busted, I don't actually mean super busted. It's my, it's just, my first just game very card, strong. Like, yeah, well, well, maybe not even that. It's just, you know, first game, so if I say busted, what I really mean is like, oh, <laughs> like eye-catching, you know what I mean? But, yeah. uh, but, uh, Battlement is always at least one point, because you can always just play it face down, right? Yeah. So, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, and if you have all three face up to get the nine points, it can't be stopped with a trebuchet the same way that the Princess Pie can. But it can be turned face down with the barracks so that you don't have the three face up. Gotcha. Uh, so like in the um in the my tools are here kind of a thing. You're like, I have barracks, do I use it to try and wizard tower a second time, or do I need it to stop my opponent from being able to get three battlements, you know? Ooh, yeah. No. Good night, sweet prince. This game has ended. No. <laughs> Where's my castle that says, cannot destroy any of my other castle pieces? Where's that card? <laughs> uh, that's in the fourth player expansion. The card's called Moat, and it says adjacent um, castle pieces can't be the targets of uh. castle pieces. Um, the card is cracked. We didn't end up putting it into the the online version. I also like just wouldn't recommend playing it in two players. It's way too strong. Um. Ooh, okay. What's this? Show me your secrets. My cheeky battlements. I guess it should always be face up. There's no reason for it to be face down. Yeah. Minus one point always, assuming that I end up with one battlement. Yeah. It's pretty easy for you to guarantee you'll see at least one battlement. I wonder which card you'll destroy here. Hmm. Yeah. Big thinking. <laughs> big, big thinking. Wait, what was the end of game condition then? Your Princess Pie got destroyed. Oh, does it have specifically written on the text that it just. That you lose destroyed? the game, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's worth lots of points. Uh, and the, the whole you have to place it face down thing is basically like, look, dude, if you play it face up, you're going to lose. Um, but also just playing it on the final turn face up to score six points is a bit uncool. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, the risk is that if it does get hit by a trebuchet, you lose the game. Now, in the season two... Um, which we will play in a little bit. In the Season 2, there is one less trebuchet, which means that getting the um, Princess Spire up safely is slightly more likely. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. There's a funny exchange of uh, turn one and two. The same three cards got shuffled back and forth and revealed. And... <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Insert Spider-Man meme. 
with my emotes. Yeah, that's what this needs. Board game arena definitely needs to just have like some generic, generic emotes. Oh, how aggro do I want to be? Ooh, interesting. I could be in trouble. I could be in trouble. How do I snap? <laughs> what are you turning off all my cards? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. That's okay. Uh, yeah. So in the first game, you notice I played most of my cards face down because I was thinking if I draw the Princess Spire, I want you to have like the worst amount of coin flips. Like if there's only one other face down card, it's like a 50-50. But if I have four face down cards, you're just kind of like, well, I just shot in the dark, you know? Um, in this one, you're playing all the face down cards. I'm going second. I'm just like, well, I'm just going to reduce the number of coin flips I have to make. Also, who snaps on Marketplace? Wild man. No, you don't. You don't understand. <laughs> Look at my board position, okay? I mean, I guess I guess it's bad if you have battlements in hand, right? Because that'd be kind of funny, actually. You're like snap, and I'm looking at battlements in my hand, and you're like, "All right, bet." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to eight. <laughs> tell you my my hand's kind of awkward now yeah it's um kind of a a mainstay of the games that i design a friend of mine whenever we would play together we play we play castles a lot he would always pick up his opening hand look at his cards and go oh, this game's shit <laughs> <laughs> i every time and it's just like become such a mainstay of it where it's like Whenever anyone goes, oh man, this card sucks, or I have a really awkward hand, or whatever, or I look at my opening hand, it's like double watchtower. I'm like, oh man, this game's shit. <laughs> Best. Uh... Wait, I actually want to snap. <laughs> you have zero points in play. I have six. Yeah, six is nothing, though. <laughs> What's that, like one princess bar? Yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna 1000 IQ play you. Are you ready? I'm gonna trebuchet your battlements, your face down battlements. Ah! No! Ah! That's so toxic! <laughs> I have the third battlements and everything! Oh <laughs> I genuinely thought you were playing a battlements and I was gonna trebuchet it. Interesting. So the order on. Uh... The order on effects is if, if you were to destroy a face down card, the, the face down card first reveals. Yes. So if I if I hit a face down trebuchet, your trebuchet would get to destroy something. Oh, interesting. Mm. Okay. So all the trebuchet does is remove the points that it would score. You still get the effect of it. Okay. Yeah, Whereas no. throne room does the opposite. You lose the effect, but you will still keep the points. Oh, it's thinking. Okay. God, I was thinking hard. I had a lot to think about. Please turn one visit tower. When you're done. Can you hit me with a retweet? I just tweeted out about us uh, streaming the game. Oh yeah, sure. Well, uh, gives me a marketplace. That's curious. That's curious.
It's kind of a meme because you like set this up yourself. So you would know um, what, like what my two drawers are, and you specifically put it in that order. I guess me ripping and playing throne room is not bad for you if you know you're going to be playing FaceTime Battlements anyway. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Because Battlements getting flipped doesn't hurt me too much. No, not really. Huge. Love to see it. Um, let's blow this up. Get out of here. This is a no wizards kingdom. Kind of rude. No wizards allowed. Ooh, interesting. So. The official law on why the Princess Spire um, loses you the game if it is destroyed is that of the two castles being built at the same time, um, Calera and Kate, when the Princess Spire is hit by a trebuchet, the whole thing topples, and the, the princess inside is kind of like a, I don't know, wizard isn't the right word, but she's a void seer and opens a giant portal into the void. And demons and monsters come out and destroy the entire castle. Oh, jeez. Fun fact, you know. <laughs> very cool. This doesn't look very good for me. I think you have a bit of a better setup than I do. Hits my watchtower. That's acceptable. Hmm. There's a tower, watch tower. There is. Oh, thank you kindly. Well. Ah, uh, that's not good. Let's play this. Oh. And this is my space. Face down. Things kind of radically turned around on me. Over like two turns. Hmm. But I want that card. <laughs> no. So both marketplaces have been played, both throne rooms have been played, we have all battlements. You are holding a watchtower as your only card. I'm going to go ahead and turn my trebuchet face down. Should you wish to turn it face up. <laughs> oh, wait, that's so talk. <laughs> hey, look, it goes from being worth one point to being worth zero points. Well, no, it's... Uh, <laughs> the correct play is always this then, though, because it's, it's, net, it's net more points. The watchtower face down. Yeah, because your trebuchet. Nah, the watchtower face up can choose zero targets. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah, it says up to two, so you can select zero. Oh, I see, I see, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna get you a win one of these games. You'll catch up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This Maybe is one still. Day my force spire <laughs> won't be destroyed. Yeah. Right. This is still the, the me tutorializing you part of the stream. No, it's okay. At some point, the man's gonna turn into a gamer god and, you know, snap me out of existence. Try my best. Here we go. K. 
okay, risky play. Let's go. Princess by a turn one. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> My roommate does it to me all the time. If we play more than five games, like, there's going to be a game where someone tries to sneak out the Princess Spire immediately and hope for the best. Uh, we can we can leave that face down. That That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Um, hmm. Nice. Smooth. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, he freely gave me a battlement? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of wild, am I right? My guess is you have the other one. Because that seems... Oh. <laughs> you could just give it back. <laughs> no way, wait, this is so toxic. <laughs> um. Aww. Fine. He gives it back, Wilding. I don't understand. My other card is so good. Yeah, I have that problem a lot. My opening three was Marketplace, Trebuchet, Trebuchet. So I'm like, I can't face up Marketplace. <laughs> this was my other card, by the way. Yeah, seems good. You want to turn my Marketplace face down so I can trade you back the... <laughs> the battlements? Uh... Okay, let's take some of these points away. I like my points. Yeah. They're a little bit problematic. Points are cancelled, honestly. Oh. Alright, uh, looks like looks like points really are cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have points, nobody can. Yeah. Seems bad. It does seem bad. Oh my god. I'm upset. <laughs> uh it's Battlements, right? <laughs> I just like that card so much. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> I get to look at your watchtower. Oh, no. Wait, Wizard Tower is so good here. <laughs> I just get to peek at one of your cards. It seems good. <laughs> I think one thing that would... Uh, just because of the way that this game works, mm. one thing that I would want is I would want the co the number of copies of the card printed uh, on, in the deck. Somewhere to see, yeah. 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 I didn't want to print it on the card because... It changes based on different things. I see. Um, like the... Oh, let's play this face down. The four player variant adds two extra cards. Um, and also, like, as you get... Like, as your collection expands, sound familiar, um, you can just put whatever 18 you want together. Yeah. There it is. Um, let's blow up one of these. So rude. What's your last card? Watchtower. <laughs> that was close. Or closer. Close. 
Oh, oh, I just got a trophy for being on a winning streak. Wow, look at you go. Winning streak. <laughs> I didn't think that was a thing that could happen outside of the, um, the laddered thing. Okay. Oh, hello. Face up. Blizzard Tower. Turn one. Okay. That's actually insane. Gave me a trebuchet. I did, yeah. It's kind of, um, yeah, kind of a problem. I have to, I have to deal with. <laughs> kind of a problem. That's okay. Let's see. Open up. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. Huh. <laughs> How many coffees of trebuchet in the best? Four. Fascinating. I know. Truly fascinating. Uh. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yup. I would like to not play a card this turn, is that acceptable? No, unfortunately not. Also, it's really strange to me that people ask that all the time. How awful must your options be on the regular for people to be like, oh, can I just do nothing? No, that means your options are good, <laughs> right? You want to hold them for later. Save it. Yeah, true, but, but still not great. Not. Not good in the middle of the game, I guess. More face down cards. All right, it's this one. I know it. I know it. Thank God. Would have been really rude if I gave you another Trevor show. someone to play leech on my hand <laughs> that'd be kind of sick actually your opponent's castle pieces have like no effect or something <laughs> i like how you peek at it and you go hmm <laughs> hmm oh, no. this one it's the, it's the interface let me tell you yeah it's not bad considering yeah no i know it's just uh takes some getting used to Mm. I haven't used this site before. Yeah, the game that I mostly play on it is Welcome To, which is a roll and write, where you're supposed to write numbers on a sheet of paper. And all you have to do is just click on the sheet of paper and it does it for you, which is kind of swag, honestly. But for this, this is a bit more complicated than that. Yeah. That. I had a feeling. That hurts a little bit. That 
that hurts a little bit. At two points during this game, I've had double trebuchet in hand. And both times there was a marketplace scene. <laughs> Oh, wait. I want to go back. Can I cancel from an action? <laughs> um, I think after you've played the card, I don't think you can. Look, my play, my play is fine, but you played the game too much to... for this to be good. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. You might just, like, outpoints me at this point. Um, which could be a problem? I don't know. No, it's a hand count issue. I should never win from this position. Um, yeah, that is correct. I see. Wait, why am I still so like- Oh, because you flipped my- I flipped up the unknown trebuchet, not the known trebuchet. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Uh, I don't really want you to resolve that face down. Oh wait, the face down is the face down is always trebuchet or battlements, no? Uh, or princess spire or trebuchet. They are the the currently unknown cards. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's it's battlements or trebuchet. Okay. It's always battlements, so I'm just gonna flip it. Yeah. Because if it is trebuchet, you win. Like, there's no, there's no reason to not. To not blast it. Get it. It's so unfortunate because I always have to. I always have to play into that, no? Yeah. I don't think I can. Yeah. The hand, yep. that's, that's, I identified that like two turns ago when I said that uh, it's a hand count issue. Yeah. That, but that's when I said, could I go back in action? The reason I wanted to is because I wanted to do uh, the prior card face down so that it looked like uh, so that it looked like that card. Hmm. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it's tough. Um, holding the Princess Buyer, you have to be really aware of who's gone first. Yeah. Um, because if you went first and you have the Princess Buyer, what just happened is pretty likely. Battlements turn one. Yeah. There's also a strat where if you're on the play, you play battlements face up because then your opponent can't do anything to interact with you and they pretty much just always play their card face down. Which puts you in an like in a spot where you can be interacting with them rather than them interacting with you. I see. Uh it's actually a pretty good state for me right now. Oh jeez, let's just... I'm just going to continue to take the same action the entire game. <laughs> Rip card off top, play card face down. Can't lose. Oh, actually this one has to be played face up unfortunately. Wizard Tower is like the only card I'll never play face down. Uh, I get to give you that, which kind of sucks, but I guess I'll deal. Man's got three battlements face down. That's kind of scary. <laughs> 
He laughs because it's true. That's scarier. True. Worth a life. Can I retreat? <laughs> Or oh, huge. Oh, it doesn't even go for a face down card. Wild man. No, 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 unnecessary. <laughs> uh. Or oh, huge. Look at that. Watch find uh watch tower checking out which which cards are threats. Oh, I get to do this. Yeah, that can go face up. <laughs> oh, it's so toxic. We found it. Yay. <laughs> You might actually win this. I don't see the I don't see the line. Cause you have your last if if my card counting skills <laughs> are up to par, uh -huh. the things are missing from this game are one marketplace. Yeah. Uh another trebuchet and the battlements. The battlements is known. No, there's still one missing battlements. Yeah, oh, no, I, I just turned it face card. down. I wasn't counting your one on the, the very first card you played this game. Yeah, right. So it's marketplace. Yeah. Trebuchet. Marketplace, two trebuchets, and princess bar. And I know that your hand is trebuchet, princess bar. Yeah. But if I have marketplace in hand. That's not really going to do anything. Place a card face down. What a meme. Get wrecked, I guess. <laughs> Actual <time. laughs> I'm not falling for that. You can trebuchet your own Princess Buyer if you want. Yeah, you could do that, I guess. If you had have left um, your Watchtower face up and you flipped up just my stuff with your Watchtower, or like one of my things and trebuchet, um, you could have trebucheted your own Watchtower to turn your Princess Buyer face up. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's plus four yeah. points. Like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you rolled on me. Yeah, I I kind of saw what you were doing. I had to assume from that point, from like two turns ago. I think I more or less have to assume your face down cards trebuchet because if it's the card in hand, like I, I don't think I can. I don't think there's a winning line for me. Yeah, I think the misplay was around interacting with all my face down cards. All I needed was for you to hit marketplace because I had Princess Spy from my opener. So I was just waiting, and because you had the two throne rooms already activated, I just played the two marketplace face down, and I just wait for like a worse opportunity for you to get the Princess Spire. Gotcha. Oh, this is pretty good. Player order has been swapped. So you're going first. I have the last turn of the game. Here is my face up battlements. Oh, perfect. 
rips off the top exactly what I want to see. Throne room, which does nothing. Battlements, look at that, tied up. Not bad. See what I mean about the face up battlements play, though? Yeah. I do. Okay, it's time. Fucking wow. Um in the worst wizard tower or the most cringe wizard tower possible is seeing three battlements. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tough actually. Um what I just saw was pretty close. Three trebuchets. Pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad for me. Okay, we're gonna go like this. And it's gonna bite me later on. <sighs> hmm. This one's much tougher. This has been a much tougher draw. It's actually so good. I'm actually cheering. <laughs> <laughs> This guy drew every look at the opponent's face down stuff. Um. Or reveal face down stuff. No, you, you, you got both throne rooms. You got stuff. True, true. I did get those things. <laughs> you do indeed have the stuff. I see what you mean, though. Ah. Uh, Man's got two cards in hand. Well, hello. Ah, uh, that's not good. Um, interesting. It's not very interesting. The... If my board state was slightly different, you actually have a line to win, which is kind of funny. But I don't think you currently have a line to win. I see a line I could have gone with, but it probably never plays out this way anyway, so it's probably not worth it. Because my two face down cards are Trebuchet Marketplace, and my hand is Trebuchet Watchtower. Yeah. There's a line where if my hand wasn't exactly those things with exactly those face down cards, where if you hit the Marketplace, I give you something that stops me from being able to Prince Aspire. Be, uh, being able to trebuchet the princess pile. But unfortunately. Where's my retreat button? <laughs> <laughs> Save those precious cubes, King. You can just trebuchet your own princess pile. That would have been kind of funny. Oh wait, why is it my... Oh, sorry, I see. Sorry. Yeah, because I, I watched out on my turn. Here it comes. <laughs> Alright, are you ready to switch to the next one? Yeah, sure. 
All right, let me go full cam for a second. We are going to go, oh, I've clicked a button I was not supposed to. Here we go. We are going to go to this one. Uh, I will send you an invite link on Discord. And you can join as a guest. I don't think you actually need a account. Okay, 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 okay. Did try try this link first. Yeah, that's what my was. If that doesn't work, let me know. So I'm pretty sure you can join as a guest, otherwise it'll let you log in with like Twitter or something. Yeah, it lets me log in as a guest. Okay, sick. So then you have to click take seat on that. Yep. And we can go start, start now. Good stuff. So this one does not have automatic rules enforcement. We have to do everything manually, as yep. well as move all the cards around manually and stuff. Yep. Um, because this is more of a sandbox than a, um, what do you call it? Okay, we get back to lab regular. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is pick up the entire deck. Right now I'm stuck on loading. A loading screen, yeah. Okay. Um, while a card is in your hand, if you press spacebar, it brings it up nice and big for you to have a look at. But what I'm doing first is just pulling out the cards that are different for you to have a look at. Uh, we've got the forge, where when you play the forge, you select another castle piece that's in play and face up, and the forge is as if it just um, has that that things effect man i really butchered that um <laughs> if you have a face up trebuchet my the forge can be a trebuchet but it's still worth three points I see, I see. uh clifftop prison it eats a card your opponent has if that card is face up it stays face up if that card is face down it stays face down and it's removed from the game if the clifftop prison is eaten by another clifftop prison or destroyed by the trebuchet <laughs> That removed card comes back into play face up, but it has no effect. Okay. So it's like temporary destroy, but also throne room. And then banquet halls is a player will reveal their hand, and then you choose a card to be placed on the bottom of the deck, and then that player draws a card. This is like super important with who goes first and who goes second. Uh, can I stack? Yeah. Deep. Just gonna build a deck of cards really quick. <laughs> no, I need to control. No, I need uh, shift. Yes. Okay. Flip. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used this. There we go. Shuffle. This one. Okay. Uh, and then we'll deal two. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, so to place something face down, you want to flip it in your hand by using F and then dragging it to the table. Gotcha. Yeah, it's similar to tabletop simulator. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Um, I'll go first, I guess. Okay. So yeah, start by drawing a card. Yep. Plays a face down card. Okay. Uh, let's let's flip this face up. It is a battlements. No worries. Oh, throne room has different art here. It does. So there's a summer and winter uh, versions. Gotcha. Um, season two has a different combination of summer and winter cards. And then my personal copy. Has both. <laughs> Has both summer and winter cards. Must be nice. Yeah. Perks of being the man, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just, let's play this face down. Oh. Your move. Uh, 
Uh, is there a hotkey for looking at a face down card? No. Not revealing it? Yeah, you'll have to put it back in your hand. Okay, gotcha. Which is a little sussy. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'm fairly certain I remember what it is. Or I can, I can look away. <laughs> um, wait, have I drawn my card for this one? No, you did not. Okay. I didn't want to accidentally cheat. Yeah, you would have three cards in hand if you did. Oh, this one might be fun for uh, the sandbox environment we're in right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so put your hand on the table. Put Draw oh, the top yeah. three cards. Yeah. There's another game that I made called Spaceship Breedout, which has a card which lets you look at the entire deck. So you're like, okay, put my hand on the table, draw the entire deck, and I have to put the entire deck back into the deck. It's a huge pain. Especially when multiple people do it in a row. Because the first person does it and then lies about what they saw there, and the next person's like, well, shit, now I have to check. I don't know if I want you to have any of these cards, though. I feel that. Yeah, dude, the, the Wizard Tower that I did before was I was holding double trebuchet, and I saw a trebuchet, marketplace trebuchet, and I was like, okay, no matter what, this man is getting a lot of trebuchets from me. <laughs> Wait, how do I stack these? If you hold it over the top, it'll go orange. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Oh. You got it? All good? Okay. I'm going to draw my card. The card you put on top was Marketplace, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, I am going to send the Wizard Tower to the Shadow Realm. Rude, but okay. It's pretty standard behavior for me, actually. Actually, is this better? More of a top-down view? Yeah, it looks alright. Okay. I'll play The Forge. Mm hmm As the trebuchet. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. And uh, I'll bonk your face down, dude. Okay. It's a watchtower. Let's put this over here. Um, yeah, I'll flip your thing. Why not? It's a battle. It's all good. All good. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Oh. That was perhaps... <laughs> perhaps not the best. Just a face down. <laughs> okay, nothing suspicious about that whatsoever. No. Um, I'm going to eat that card. Why? Because there was nothing suspicious about it whatsoever. <laughs> okay. So wait. Uh... If you trebuchet the cliffs up oh. prison, you get your card back. Face up. But this card, but this card is no. This but it is, is not, not turned face up by the clifftop prison See. until after it's destroyed. So I don't know what it is um, while it's under there. Fascinating. Okay, just another face down. Let's see if I can draw another clifftop prison to deal with that totally not suspicious one. But instead, we are going to throne room it. Oh, wait, that's actually Huge value. <sighs> Huge. I'll allow it. 
I assume um, banquet holders can be. I can select myself, no? Yeah, yeah. Um, but the card you have to um, shuffle away is revealed to me. Because the card's revealed to everyone. Are both cards revealed or just the card? Yeah, the whole hand is revealed. Yeah. Ooh, puts Watchtower underneath. Smooth. Very smooth. Okay. Um. All right, you ready for an absolute bomb of a play next turn? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I draw this, right? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. I have that? one card in hand. I should have drawn that. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Pretty sure I've played this game before. Pretty sure I've played this game before. Give me a card. Oh, I wonder which one it could be. Interesting. It's kind of huge, actually. Uh, the really huge thing that happened this game was that freaking throne room. Yeah, that was pretty huge. Uh, I'm gonna pop this. Yeah, and I'm playing Watchtower, and nothing's happening. You gonna choose right. zero? Yeah. You could flip some things. You wanna flip some things? I don't think I do want to flip some things. You know, it's kind of funny. It, it doesn't matter either way, though. That this face down card is the princess fire. <laughs> Yeah. It is. <laughs> Dude, it's kind of a kind of a meme. <laughs> um, I'm gonna eat this. So that means that you've got four points, um, and I have more than four points. <laughs> yeah, I'm about ten. Is that five? Yeah, ten. How funny! This was marketplace, and this was battlements. Um, I think... I think you'll find I have 10 points. <laughs> there is a button. There is a button. This one. Yes. So we reset and we don't have to... <laughs> but we have to shuffle. Um, deal 2. Uh, you, you went first? Yep. Last time. So I will go first this time. Like this. Alright. Your move. Oops. Well, wizard tower. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this wizard tower sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. Yeah, Wizard Tower in two player, where you see two cards that your opponent gets to draw, is really hard. Wizard Tower in three player is like one for me, one for each of you. And then Wizard Tower in four player is like, I get to see what everyone else but me draws. <laughs> like, it's super wild. All good? Yep. Alright, I'll draw a single card. Your move. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Um, I'm going to throw in the room this card. The Battlements. Homie literally saw three Battlements off the... <laughs> off the Wizard Town. <laughs> Oh, it was foreshadowing, bro. You even called it. Know, you I called know. it well in advance. <laughs> Alright, I'll throw 
throne room. Uh, whoa, why did my come? Why did my cloud come out sideways? Oh, weird. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, I'll flip your first card here. This one. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> totally fine. Totally. How do I? Totally nothing the, to see here. The snap button again. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about that. Worry about this face down card. <laughs> um, I think I'll play trebuchet on the. Oh no! Wah 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 wah. Well, uh, <laughs> not bad, not bad. See. Did you win or did I lose? Like, really? <laughs> uh, no, it was a risky play. It was a risky play. I'm first this time, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's trebuchet it. Huge. Oh, I guess. So oh, okay. the trebuchet gets eaten, and then yeah, the cliffs are prison gets destroyed, yeah. and the trebuchet comes back yeah, yeah, yeah. and has no effect. Yep. So it functionally serves no difference. Like the most net neutral turn possible. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. God damn it. Um, yoink. Here's my strategy. Make sure that you just don't have a castle. <laughs> Interesting strategy. So far, so good, right? Jeez. It might be. Hmm. Uh, I'll let you have one. I think so. One seems fair. Any more than that, and you're being greedy. Well, I'm going to be a bit greedy. Oh, no. How will I deal with that? Uh, here's a cliff top prison. I'm gonna eat this guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want my cards back. Uh, this guy. Yeah. I'll okay. uh, watchtower and flip everything. Actually, no. With watchtower, I'm just going to flip this one. Mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And then I'll use that to flip that one. Yeah, sure. There's not really much difference. <laughs> oh, well. It could have been a difference, okay. Oh, this is kind of huge. Um, you went first, right? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Crap. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna banquet halls you. I need to see your hand. Okay. We are gonna put Watchtower on the bottom. Well, thanks. You can have a card. Nope. The whole deck. There we go. I have moved the whole deck. <laughs> oh, good job. Uh, uh, your turn. Oh, and I draw a card as well. Yes. Yeah. The first draw card was just from me. Yeah, so you go up to three, yeah. Oh, this is a convenient time to play this card. Ooh. Well, there's exactly three cards in the deck. Seems good. You now have perfect information about the game, and I know nothing because of Cliff's Up Risen. Hey, 
be orange. <laughs> Done? Yep. Alright, what horrible thing have you given me? Mm. Mm. I'll play Marketplace. Okay. I will give you a Marketplace. Oh, thanks, man. Huge. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll trebuchet one of those. I forget where my card, where my good card is. One of those cards is really bad. The other one's pretty good. I forget I'll allow you to look at them if you want. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you can keep this one. Okay. Um, I need that one. Okay. Where's your card back? It doesn't go to your hand, it goes to in play. Oh shit. Oh, uh, oh shit. Can you pick this up? Yeah. And give me the forge back? Just so I don't accidentally look at what the face down card is, yeah. So then the, the one that you got back is face up. Oh, really? Yeah, face up and has no effect, yeah. Oh. Throw in room, okay. So yeah, you just score the points for it, but it won't get an effect. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play this face down. It's a lot of face down cards you have, then. Indeed. You ready for a shell game? <laughs> There's not much for me to shell, I don't have any... Ah, uh, rip, rip. Uh, okay, so now... I'm going to tell you the state of the game. I'm holding a watchtower. Yeah. My three face down cards are two battlements and Princess Spire. How would you like to lose the game? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got to just do the two battlements, right? So that you can finally see it happen. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple battlements. Ah. So yeah, that's nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18 points. I want battlements to happen You've more got often. 6, 9, 10, 11, 13? You're only 5 behind, my dude. Yeah, well, battlements will do that too, I guess. <laughs> what was this trebuchet? Yeah, yeah, taking the throne room is the right choice, for sure. For sure. So, uh, now that... Oh, oh yeah, Clifton Prison is really strong. It's really yeah. strong. It also plays with information in a really interesting way because it makes it harder to card count. Yeah. For the person playing it. Um, but if both people play one, it makes it harder for both players, which I think is interesting. Yeah, for sure. Um, now that you've seen oh Jesus. Now that you've seen everything in action, what are your what are your initial thoughts? Um well, a lot, a lot of the game uses a skill that I'm not necessarily used to using, which is which is count, uh, card, card counting. Yeah. And a lot of that is also, uh, uh, you need to be familiar with the, the cards that are in the deck. Mm -hmm. So, uh, obviously, the first few games of that are going to be uh, tricky. Yeah. Especially given someone, especially someone who has, like, uh, more experience. Yeah. Uh, uh, to be fair, though, my strategy thus far has been just throwing stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but I, I, I really like the core concept of the game, uh, the, as for, like, individual card designs, mm -hmm. the, this makes a lot of sense, I like that this, this dynamic of, uh, where, wait, where's the, where's there's only the, three in this season, uh, yeah, we cut one out okay. so that the Princess Pie was more viable. Gotcha, yeah. Um. Yeah, it's nice and easy to learn. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing too complicated going on, at least on like the surface level. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, which makes I think it, it fairly easy to pick up, um, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, there is like a lot of destruction now, though, or like pseudo destruction with. Um, yeah, it went from four to five, and then the forge can copy one. Yeah. 
So in theory, there's the same number of trebuchets, but there's also cliffs up prison. But if somebody cliffs up prisons, your prince aspire you, and you trebuchet that cliffs up prison, you get a free face up prince aspire that's been safe the whole game. Gotcha. Uh, my favorite card is battlements. This is a that's wild. A yeah, uh, I do like it. Like it gets harder to collect the set uh, as the play count goes up. But in two players, you do have a lot of control over whether or not you're collecting it. Like, if you see your opponent has one early on, you just kind of marketplace it away. Uh, yeah. Or wizard tower it away. Yeah, it's it's uh, part of the design that makes it so nice for this game is that beca is, is that you have those... Uh, you have those resource burning cards like marketplace that uh, when this is a dud, you can still function with it. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, another example of that is like Wizard's Tower. Like if you if you know your opponent has a battlements and you see a battlements in the uh, in your group, sorry, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, if you already have a battlements and then your group of three from Wizard Tower has a battlements in it, you can just give the opponent battlements, knowing that you he he can never get the um complete the set. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I love the design behind Princess Spire. Yeah, it's an all or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> But in this game, you're, uh, you play out your entire hand, uh, yeah. always. Yeah. So, an all or nothing card is like, a lot of the time, it w at least from uh, a new player perspective, a lot of the time feels like nothing, because or it leans towards that nothing side. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah, if it's going to whiff, it's going to whiff, and there's you're in a position where you're playing out your whole hand, so it's not like you can, uh, you can manage that very easily. Yeah. In, in this version, you have the added advantage of being able to banquet halls to put the Princess Spire on the bottom of the deck for the person that went for second to have the only play of just playing it face down on the final turn, pretty much. All right, are you, are you ready for a, an all or nothing best of three? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. All right, we'll reset. I'll close this, oops, uh, let's shuffle. All right, do you wanna go first or second? Um, I guess I'll go first. Okay, after you. Draw a card. Face up battlements, your move. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I'll play marketplace. Ooh. I will give you a marketplace. Uh, I'm gonna have to prison this card. But I like that card. Well, it's mine now. Wait a second. My mind is expanding. Give me <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you cliff top prison at cliff top prison? The cliff top prison gets eaten. The card comes back, has no effect. If the second cliff top prison is destroyed, the first one comes back and it's just worth two points. It doesn't have an effect. I see, I see. <laughs> Huge.
Uh, I'll hit your face now, God. Ooh, got him. Ooh. I'm gonna get battlements again. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> well, uh, third time's a charm. Let's go. <laughs> Man's looking at battlements in his hand, going, "This idiot." <laughs> Oh. Alright, it's a watchtower. But I'm gonna flip this face up. Which is a battlements. Of course, of course. Yeah, figures. Uh, interesting. Trebuchet this again. Nah, Throne Room has no targets. Oh, okay. Here's Wizard Tower. For the two cards in deck. Okay. Your move. I will banquet. Uh, revealing my hand. Flip this bottom, take this. Ooh, kind of huge. Kind of huge. Interesting. Um, here's a marketplace. Thank you. Uh, enjoy this princess file. How many copies of Forger in the deck? One. <laughs> Anything that's three points is only one copy of. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one of these ones they give me. Take that one. Your move. Okay. I'm gonna play Watchtower, face up, no targets. Um, throne room. Nice. Uh, except here's my cliff top prison. I'm gonna eat your princess bio. Well, it's not destroyed. It's not destroyed, so you don't lose, but you don't get points What's out the of it. Point count? So you've got eight, ten. I've got two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my Ooh. God! Sheesh! It's pretty close. Pretty close. Uh, I knew you couldn't destroy Spire because the trebuchet was face down. Yeah, I figured that out in the final turn. That's why I traded it to you because I was like, hmm, I can eat it and he doesn't score any points, or he can't flip it and he can't score any points. Yeah. All right. Game one goes to me. By one point. By that one really point. Wrong. I mean, let's be honest. All right, you got you got two more, potentially, two more attempts to prove it. Uh, quick shuffle. Deal out two cards. Uh, you you went first, so I'm gonna be going first. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's play this card face down. Something different. Wait, did you play a card? I did, yes. This uh, this small what? pile is mine. Oh, the it was like an ultra big delay. You only just put down the card for me. Oh. Um, Weird. Maybe refresh. Uh, no, it should be okay. Just try. Um. Like, can you see my hand moving around? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, um, you should be fine. Oh, I should probably draw a card. Huh? That might help. Yeah. Um. 
me try out this gun for a little bit. Okay. What the fuck did I play? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it if you want. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, interesting. Um, here's a marketplace. Here is a card I'm giving you. Um, ugh. fine, have that gun. <laughs> Such derision. Yeah, well. I went first. You shouldn't have given me that. Your turn. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's a lot going on in my head right now. Okay, he's playing something face down. Draw a card. I'm going to play a Banquet Horse. And I'm going to target you. Um, okay. Show him. Alright, Princess Spire is going on the bottom. You get to draw a card. And then another one. Oh yeah, because it's one. Start my gun. Yeah. Um. Well, fam. Hmm. That's things. That sure is things. Um. Hmm. I'm going to trebuchet this one. Um, did you want to flip up your other card to have no effect? All right. Your move. Tempo Treb. May I uh, look at my FaceTime card? Um, yeah. Thought so. Just wasn't sure. It's one of those things when you meet someone and they tell you their name and your mind goes blank. When you go, you play card face down yeah, yeah. and then your mind goes blank. <laughs> uh, Happened to me before when you cliffed up prison my card. Uh, yeah, right, fine. All marketplace. Huge. Um, here's this really nasty, scary, horrible card. Yeah, I'm a little scared of this, but hopefully it's fine. <laughs> um, sick, I'll draw a card. Oh my god, that's exactly what I want. Hmm, let's play this face down. It's good enough for now, right? I'll also play a face down. Riveting gameplay. Oh, actually. Perfectly timed wizard tower. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to put it on the table and it just puts it back in my hand. What the fuck? Alright, um. 
I already put that there, so that's gonna stay there. This is for me. And this is for you. Okay. Your move. I would like to cliff top this thing. Interesting. I'm going to play face up battlements. Your turn. Face down. I'm going to play face up battlements. Your turn. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh face down. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play the forge, which uh -huh. copies trebuchet, yep. which blows up the clifftop prison, okay. which gives me a battlements back. <laughs> okay. Your move. Check me out. I'm gonna go Watchtower. Uh huh. Which is gonna flip Trebuchet. Okay. I'll blow up, uh, I don't know, this Thing one. worth three points, yeah. Yeah. Then my other Watchtower. Okay. To flip another Trebuchet. Okay. To blow up this three thing worth three points. Okay. And then my Princess Fire. And the Princess Fire. So this is 10, 12, 14. Versus nine, nine, twelve, twelve, fourteen. Oh my god, that's toxic. Uh, so um, a tiebreaker rule for the person with the most, uh, the most battlements, sure. Uh, sure, sure. Um, do you know what the actual tiebreaker rule is? What is the tiebreaker rule? The player that lives in the biggest house. Oh, okay, yeah. Fair enough. Um, do you live in a big house? <laughs> uh, not really. I live in a two bedroom apartment, so it's not really. <laughs> oh, okay, I've got that. Because uh, the whole idea is that the the building of the castle is the king's gigantic ego, and the biggest the biggest castle points wise is like the biggest thing that wins. So the the actual human playing the game that has the actual human biggest castle wins. Um, I'm gonna let you have the win, and then we're gonna play a third one for the decider. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, big shuffle. We both got each of the Deal big two. wind cards out of the way. I know, I know. Um, I went first in the last game. Your turn to go first. Okie dokie. Uh, face up battlements. Huge. You know what? Sounds good. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's no barracks to like turn it into one point either. Um, let's throne room this huge. Get it! That is not good. Yeah, not good for you. Your move. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay. Let's go for it. Here's a wizard tower. One, two, three. Um...
your move. Hmm. I shall. Oh. I shall bank with, and I'm targeting you. Oh, huge. Uh, Watchtower or the Forge? Uh. Math works out the bottom card goes to me, right? Um, you went first. So, no. <laughs> Oh, right. Sorry, I wasn't factoring in the draw card. <laughs> Banquet. Yeah. Okay. You have this. Okay. Wait. You want to change your mind? No, no, no. <laughs> I get it. Okay. I draw a card, and then I draw a card for turn. Um... Interesting, interesting, interesting. I am going to be drawing a watchtower on the final turn. Or I do this, <laughs> copy banquet halls, you show me what you got, uh -huh. and then I might uh -huh. steal a card from you instead and you can draw a watchtower on the final turn. Why didn't you pick yourself? See, uh, because when I read the <laughs> banquet halls, I forgot about the draw card, so I thought the math worked out for me to draw the final card. Uh, the, draw card, the math works out for you drawing the final card. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Look, it's um, it's gonna be it's gonna be marketplace. Uh, put this like this, and I'll move it back over here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you making a small mistake made me make a bigger mistake, which is kind of really funny. Well, we'll see who it favors, I guess. Interesting. Um, let's eat that. That's not very cool. <laughs> not very cash money of me. No, it's not. Hmm. All right. Ooh, firing them from the hip. We're gonna blow up ankle holes. <laughs> Your move. Interesting. Interesting. So. Hmm. Wait, why is bottom card going to me? Because <laughs> you're the last player? Have we made a mistake somewhere? <laughs> we must have, because bottom card should be going to... You have one card in hand. You didn't draw at some point. Oh. So this should be yours, and this should be mine now. Yes, I see. That makes sense. Ah, uh, which means I'm going to play this marketplace and ask that you very politely <laughs> give me something better. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Your move. Disgusting, I tell you. Uh, I, I'll watch that with my two dudes here. Okay. Uh, you want to throw in the third one? I... Wait, do I have to? No. Okay, fair enough. You can target a face up card for it to do legibly nothing. Because it doesn't specify you have to target a face down card. 
Um, hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Put his card face down. Can I check what the stun was real quick? Oh. Uh. Well, then mark the place. And you have no cards in hand. So it doesn't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watchtower. I'm going to turn this card face up first. And then this card face up. Now, Cliftop Prison's effect will activate and resolve before Trebuchet. Gotcha. So what uh... would you like to Cliftop Prison? Wait, that's so toxic. I can't... <laughs> well, if you pick your Cliftop Prison and get your Princess Spire back, yes, I can trebuchet, but you can hit something else. Well... Wait, the turn it comes back, it doesn't even have an effect, right? That's so... correct. So even if you did trebuchet, it's not like the game doesn't end, right? Yeah. But... I still lose on point count anyway. I guess I'll just take this for now, and then you're gonna take it back after you trebuchet my. I can. Oh, well, I gotta do some maths, really. But yeah, based on your choices, what I look at. So currently, I've got four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You've currently got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so it doesn't really matter what I choose. I can just, I can just blow this up. <laughs> yeah. I could have uh, prior turn. I didn't keep track of my face down cards because I had too many so my brain went blank. Yeah. Uh, when I watched Howard I didn't have to flip a uh, battle mantle. You could have done the clips up prison instead. Yeah. That would have been better. That would have been better. Hmm. Hmm. Man gets there right at the end. One, right one. at the end. How about that, huh? So this was the first game that I made. This is coming up on six years old now. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. Um, I really like it as a as a one v one kind of, but it's like super light. You like playing it at the cafe while you're at the airport waiting for your for your plane or whatever. You know, world's yeah. number one game for playing on a train or something. Um, but but I do like it. And I think that you were really starting to get a hold of what was going on towards the end. Yeah, for sure. It's um, it's deceptively tricky, mm. which is um, which I think is a good thing. Yeah, it's got a really high skill ceiling and a really low learn how to play the basics of the game. Yeah, which is kind of ideal, but also the game's tiny, so it's like really deceptive in how deep the strategy can be. Yeah, for sure. Um, that kind of wraps up what I had planned for us. Do you want to tell everyone where we can find you online? Uh, yeah, mostly you can find me on Twitter these days because mm -hmm. I have uh, more or less uh, stopped content creation to focus on other things. But um, yeah, Twitter or YouTube is really the best place to find me. So twitter.com forward slash Willow Snapping. I think my YouTube is the same URL. I don't know. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah, it's the same URL, youtube.com forward slash Willow Snapping. Okay, huge. And um, obviously it's cool to see other Aussies getting out there and doing stuff. And I do appreciate you coming and humoring me and playing my terrible, terrible card games. Oh, um, <laughs> but yeah, awesome. All right, let me... I get to hit stop on the recording. I'll go and edit that at some point this evening and get that up onto YouTube. But that's kind of it. That's my my whole day i'm currently at 11 hours and 20 minutes um live <laughs> consecutive oh, yeah um so i might just go and do literally any other thing <laughs> a well-earned break i think yeah enjoy some time with my shirt off because it's like fucking 30 degrees in sydney right now <laughs> But, um, yeah. Australia heat way too much. Bro. Yeah, Australia things. Am I right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming and playing, dude. And I am keen to come and do some other stuff. Um, if you want to do some league content or if you want to do some Snap stuff. When, when Snap finally releases Play Challenge, I have a 1v1 format that I really, really want to try. Yeah, sure. I'm definitely down for that. And it's um... a bit spicy, so I definitely want to make it 
Like, I don't want to say anything in case someone steals it on, like, launch day, but I am really keen to do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited for uh, battle mode. Sounds like we're going to be region luck, so we might be the only two players in Australia who are able to play with us. So. Bro, we're already the only two players. I'm surprised I haven't played against you already. Yeah, yeah. All I play against is bots. <laughs> yeah, ma matchmaking isn't uh, region luck to play with anyone, but uh, the new battle mode is region luck. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that matchmaking isn't region locked. I literally had a look. I went through and made an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and I played for... It was like four hours or something like that. And I looked at my match tracker, and I had played against the same person more than a unique opponent. Yeah, but it's probably... Um... There are, there are a lot of restrictions to matchmaking. I don't think you would... Uh, I don't think it's a region lock, though. No, I think I'm just too high on the collection level track and playing at weird times. So yeah. the number of there, people is low. There is one region that I know for sure is region locked, and it's the Philippines. I'm not sure why, but Philippines can only play with Philippines people. That's um, wild. I think that's just... I, I could be wrong, but I think that might just literally be... Like a leftover mistake from beta because beta was region locked. Mm. Um, That's wild. But uh, but I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. Mm. It sounds like the tech for battle mode quite literally can't facilitate non-region uh, region locking for some reason. Oh, well, I um, guess it it. it's about the server load. Like if I'm trying to against play against people in the US, they don't have the server load to handle so many foreign requests like that. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I, w I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't know for sure. But from what I understand, there's some technical limitation that they're working toward fixing for battle mode, so that it won't be region locked forever. It's just when they launch, it will be region locked. Mm, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm excited to do that. So I'll be. <laughs> I'll be up in your inbox as soon as that's released to try and organize some stuff. Because um, yeah, sure. I have a really cool one v one mode that I want to try, and also organizing APAC tournaments would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, for sure. There's like no one doing that right now, so <laughs> it'd be nice if someone did. It's just no one in APAC. We don't exist. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the the Asian regions are actually pretty um pretty pretty uh, alive. Mm. Um, I believe it. OC, though, seems pretty rough. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I am I'm excited to try and do something with that. I might do a cash prize tournament if it'll actually get people in and get people talking about it and doing it and. I would love to generally run a tournament where I would just not play and I could do like commentary or something and we could spectate games or something like that. Uh, yeah, it would be really sick. Because people have to get on, people would have to get on Discord because there's no and share screen on. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, they definitely don't have tech for spectating yet. No. Um, or any kind of tournament infrastructure. So we'd have to make shift something. But yeah, I am definitely keen to to do something like that. Yeah, for sure. To get something like that happening all right i will let you go get back to the rest of your afternoon um yeah, well i appreciate you having me on i, I really enjoyed uh, learning the game i'm always bound to do stuff like this so yeah man yeah. next time if we can get five people we can play the next game the spaceship readout it's like among us but a, oh, yeah, a card cool. game <laughs> see we could transition into that if we if we could, if we could find more friends um yeah. More Australians. More Australians. Yeah, exactly. But all right then. Yeah, well, like I said, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you around again. Yeah, man. I will catch you later. Yeah, peace out. And to everyone on stream, thanks for hanging out. If you missed something interesting, because a lot of things happened today. We did Valorant placements this morning, which was shit, and I'm really tilted. I played uh, Zelda Oracle of the Seasons. It was really tough, and I barely moved the needle, <laughs> really, uh, in my completion percentage. Um, we did a whole bunch of Marvel Snap content, uh, and then Willow snapping a homie of mine. I mean, he's carrying played a whole bunch of my game, Castles of Kalira. This one, it's right. That's it. Yeah, this, this is the game. Um, so if any of that sounds interesting, go and check out the vods or get on the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel will have all of that uploaded on there at some point. <sighs> Something for me to do today. But I'm gonna end stream finally and go and enjoy some cool time in not the sun in not the warm with my lights off and maybe have a nap